Hi all, uh, I am Anuja and today I will discuss about metric analysis in Keras. Keras is a very high level neural network API and therefore there are different models that can be built upon Keras and different parameter measures <laughs> are used to evaluate different models. So uh, what exactly is a metric analysis? Metric is a function which is used to judge your or uh, evaluate your model. There are different as I said, there are different problems that can be solved using Keras. It can be about a regression where we will predict the output. It can be about the classification where we will, uh, where we can classify each particular input into different classes. And uh, each of these problem statements will require a different set of parameters to measure uh, how useful our model is. So metrics is nothing but that uh, function to judge the performance of a model. So where can I specify this metric function? As you can see, uh, okay, this is, uh, uh, I have taken this code from examples of the uh, Keras model. So you can go there and find this code. It is uh, cipher 10 CNN file. Uh, these are not that important but uh, I have picked some parameters here like uh, epochs and batch size so that it will be easier for me uh, to demonstrate uh, how different metrics, different metrics work. Uh, to back to our topic where can I specify this metrics function? This metrics function uh, is given in compile uh, command of the model so model dot compile matrix dot accuracy uh, here whenever I will run this model for function for fit function it will uh, calculate uh, accuracy uh, this is is it the only parameter I can give for a matrix no there are many different parameters I can give uh, pass to the metric and I will discuss about those later but for now uh, this is where I can specify my matrix. Is it mandatory? No. If I uh, I can just delete this matrix parameter and my code will run fine. But uh, while I am running this code, no accuracy will be calculated. Only loss of categorical cross entropy will be calculated. Okay, moving on. Is uh, is it mandatory that I can give only one parameter each time I uh, develop a model? No. I can give as many as parameters as I like. Uh, I will explain what this MSC or MAPA mean but uh, this is how it will look if I am giving multiple inputs to my matrix parameter. Uh, the next question will be uh, will I be stuck with the only parameters given to me by Keras? Only available matrices by Keras? No. You can uh, develop your own customized matrix as well. How can I do that? So, uh, matrices in Ket uh, Keras is a little of a tricky business because uh, the Y true and Y predicted values of a matrix are should be of the same data type of uh, as a tensor float value. So, uh, typically, whenever I'm uh, writing my own custom metric, I should use this import keras dot backend as key. This command, uh, this keras dot backend has different mathematical functions which will help you uh, into figuring out your own performance measure which you can use in evaluating your model. So here, this is a very uh, simple example where I have used. Uh, k dot mean that is uh, this uh, this is a parameter measure in which I will see uh, uh, what is the mean value of my predicted function. So here it, uh, this will return me uh, accuracy as well as mean prediction. Uh, so back to our code. I am running this. Uh, this is a cipher ten database. Uh, as you can see here. Now the main tricky part comes here. Model dot compile uh, loss is equal to categorical cross entropy. Optimizer is equal to OPT. Matrix is equal to accuracy. I run this code. Uh, I will not run other these two matrices right now. Voila, 
here you can see uh, for the first epoch as it is calculating uh, it will show you a uh, loss as well as accuracy because in our matrix we said that we wanted accuracy but now if I go here and I remove matrix uh, argument for matrix and I come here and run it you can see there is only loss no accuracy is maintained I can go back and I can give it the another compile function which has MSC that is mean square error or MAP mean absolute percentage error these two are already defined functions in k dot backend uh, these are these may be uh, these are like uh, functions which are used for regression uh, it is MSC is mean squared error where uh, it is the difference between uh, training uh, value and prediction value uh, difference square of difference between predicted value and training value and MAP is the uh, percent, absolute uh, percentage of difference of uh, predicted and trained value so these are generally used for uh, recreation not for classification but here just as an example I will show you how it works so here I have mean square error 0 0.091 and mean absolute percentage error will be 8.99 here i have not specified accuracy so there is no accuracy uh, shown here now back to our custom matrix uh, this is my code for my custom matrix i imported back in from keras and now i am i have written a function this one is the different than I showed you this function returns a reverse matrix squared error so what it does is I it uh, squares the error between predicted and true value it reverses it and then takes a square root of this so it is a pretty complete uh, so uh, as the matrix syntax I have provided it with by true and by prediction if I have run that and give uh -oh. just give me a minute sorry um i didn't miss and run this i will see here okay my loss accuracy and rmsc so this is how you can write your own matrix function uh, now the main interesting part about the matrix function is accuracy if you can see here i have a list of uh, matrix fu functions uh, available matrix and how i can specify this so binary accuracy categorical accuracy they both are listed as ecc or accuracy so depending upon your objective or loss function it will decide which accuracy function to use but by default if it cannot decide it will be a categorical accuracy as well thank you for your time and i hope you found this video as helpful